Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 30 of Civilization 5 on Emperor Difficulty as Portugal. The first thing I'd like to do is apologise for the audio on the last couple of episodes. I'd recorded them back to back and something in the background crashed which, record, uh, which caused a little hiccup in the recording of the game. And uh, because I record the game and the commentary separately I hadn't noticed that it had thrown them both out of sync. By the time someone had pointed it out to me I'd already deleted the raw file so I couldn't go ahead and re-encode that so if you notice the last couple of videos the um, commentary was lagging a couple of seconds behind that's the reason why however it should all be sorted out for this video and there shouldn't be a problem there so in the last video or the last couple of videos the first thing we did was to take Thebes the Egyptian capital away now my original plan was to then go after Memphis but we do have all of their uh, wonders because they were all in Thebes so we did peace out with Egypt and I'm now starting to move what little navy I have towards Arabia with a plan of going to war with them. Several reasons for that. Let's go through what we can do to get a victory condition and the state of play with the current other AIs that are in the game. So first of all we have Polynesia. Polynesia have just been reduced to these two tiny cities down here. They're not a threat. They're not going to be able to win. They're not going to be able to do anything. Um, Assyria up here. They're not doing particularly well. They've only got three cities. I don't think they've got any more than this. Uh, I don't think they're very likely to get anywhere close to a win. Um, Korea doesn't appear to be doing too bad. Now, I would have expected Korea to have been at least well on their way to getting a scientific victory by now. Strangely enough, though, they don't even have the Apollo project yet, which I do find slightly weird. Maybe some of their early wars cost them a little bit. And obviously, they have gone to war with um, the Mayans as well because they took Chichen Itza, which was the last remaining Mayan city. So I think it was actually uh, Korea that wiped the Mayans out. But I don't think they are going to win. The two people that had any chance of winning this game is Egypt and uh, Arabia. Now, the thing that meant they had a chance of winning more than anything was actually culture. Uh, Arabia is currently influential with three out of the five remaining civilizations. Egypt is currently influen influential with two. Uh, Polynesia is actually influential with one. I'm not sure how. Um, ah, Korea actually have very, very low culture. Korea really are doing badly if their culture is so low that they're just being absolutely uh, beaten there by, uh, by Polynesia. But if we actually have a look, if we look at Egypt, uh, Egypt uh, is actually starting to fall now because we've taken their capital city. Most of their tourism output was coming from Thebes. So now we've taken Thebes from them, it's really, really hurt them and their influence is actually falling with everybody. So um, yeah, I think at one point they were, they were actually influential with, with me, with Portugal, but obviously that is now falling because we've taken away a lot of their tourism from them. But if we go and have a look at Arabia, Arabia are influential with um, everybody except Polynesia, which won't take long. It'll only take 16 turns, assuming that tourism output doesn't change. However, in 284 turns, they could potentially become uh, dominant, uh, well, influential influential over Egypt. Now obviously the game isn't going to last 284 turns. It's a standard pace game which means max turns is 500 and we're already on 388. And because we've actually put them to war with one another, uh, they're now no longer getting the bonus for having trade routes between them. So they're getting a minus 34% penalty from the differing ideologies. Uh, they're already influential with us and they are getting a total of plus six because they do have trade routes with us. But once we declare war, those trade will, routes will go away because obviously that counts trade routes they're sending to me, which I can't really do anything about. So the moment I declare war, they will lose that 40% bonus and they'll be on minus 34 with me. Either way, providing Egypt don't fall, uh, they're not going to be able to become influential. So that comes down to how are we likely to win? Well, it's most likely going to be down to a scientific victory. Now, if we actually go and have a look at the scientific victory in the details here, we can see that one player has completed the Apollo program, which is actually Arabia. They're the only people that have done it so far. So what we need to try and do is get the Apollo program completed and start working on spaceship parts. So, 
Towards that end, we are already working on the Apollo program. In fact, we're only one turn away from doing so. We still can't build any of the spaceship parts yet. So what I'm doing first is I'm working towards satellites. That will allow us to build the SS cockpit. But before we start on that, we're going to try and build the Hubble Space Telescope. At least, I believe that it hasn't already gone. Now, this will actually be fantastic because it will give us two free great scientists, which we can pop straight away. It will give us a free spaceship factory in Lisbon, and it will also give us an extra 20 25% production when building spaceship parts, which I believe is um, globally, not just in the city. But I'm not 100% sure about that. can't quite remember. Either way, it would be fantastic to get that. To that end, let's just go through and have a look in our cities and just make sure that we are working the science slots. And what I may also end up having to do at some point as well, I think most of these we will be. Uh, Bragger, you can work the research lab and public school and university. Just trying to get as much science as possible in these cities. Uh, that's Gao. Gao's mainly on production there. It's not too bad, I guess. Let's let's get out of there and let's work the uh, university, the research lab, the public school. You're actually starving now. What can we do about that? Can we do anything with your citizen management to help things out? Because clearly we haven't actually done anything here at all with this city at any point. So, we've got the slots working we want. We've got a fair few unemployed citizens. So, food and science, might as well go ahead and get that. That isn't max food, but it's good science. So, we'll definitely have that. Uh, same with that as well. We'll get both of those in. Why isn't it letting me click that one? Because it's too far off the edge of the screen. Definitely get that for the food, that for the food, that for the food, and that for the food. At least we're not stagnating anymore now. Um, we'll get that and that for the science. What else would we like to get? Are we that bothered about production or do we just want to go into science here? Military base, 10 turns. I guess it would be nice to have some production. That'll shave a few turns off that. One more unemployed citizen. Uh, let us put you... Now we'll keep that worked, of course, because it is a mine. Let's put you into one of these tiles. Seems fair enough. Get some additional food, a bit of production and some gold. Uh, let's just have a quick look at our other cities. Palenque, you're mainly production focused. Can we get away with putting people in your... Yep, you're starving as well. Again, you're, you're on gold focus. This was something that somebody did uh, actually mention to me, is that I hadn't uh, put all of these cities... I could put you on default focus, actually. Is that I hadn't gone through all of my cities and taken them off gold focus, which is a very, very good point. So let's go ahead and do that. You have a university and a public school. Uh, you are now starving, of course. Um, put you on default focus, but it didn't do an awful lot. You don't have a massive population, I suppose, which is the problem there. So let's try and grow you a little bit if we can. So we definitely want to work the plantation on the bananas. We definitely want to work the wheat tile and the fish. That will help us with the food. Two turns until we get a new citizen there, which is really nice. Uh, would anything give us a good boost to science or anything? Probably not, so let's just go ahead and work three food and one hammer. Uh, three food and one hammer again. We'll just carry on and do that. Not a problem. Uh, didn't actually go through all the cities that I wanted to there as well. Uh, you're on production focus, that is fine. Elephantine we just did. To Carl, you're on gold focus. Of course, you can go on to default now. Can we get people in the university here without you starving? Yes, we can. Can we do slightly better on the food? Well, we know we do want that because we want the culture. Uh... Are these all the best tiles to work? I'm sure we've got some much better food tiles we could put some people in. Got a farm there. That helps a little bit. 24 turns until a new citizen is born. Still not a lot. We definitely seem to be on production here. I don't mind that too much. I think we'll leave that as it is. Uh, can't do anything with um, Thebes yet because it's still in resistance. So let's go on to the next turn. I appreciate that's taken a little while setting all of that up, but it is quite important that we get there. Uh, another thing that we may have to do is put some of our cities just on uh, science focus. Well, not science focus, but you can actually convert uh, production into either gold or science. You do need education to do the science one, and you need, I think it's, I um, can't even remember what it is now. To certain things, you need guilds to be able to convert production into wealth, and you need education to be able to convert production into science. It isn't something that I use very often. And there we go, we've completed the Apollo program. Uh, but what you can do is you can go into one of your cities 
And then within that city, if you actually just go in to choose production and go down to the very bottom, you can convert 25% of your production in, uh, output into either gold or science per turn. So that may well be something that we do uh, end up having to do. Uh, let's just have a look and see if there's anything else that we do need to build in these cities because it would be really nice to actually get a few things up and running. We've got the public school built here, which is really nice. A research lab here would be really good. Or would it be worth trying to get a little bit of extra production? We don't have a massive amount of production here. In fact, I could probably just go ahead and purchase a research lab. So let's work on the... Um, money's not great either. Let's just work on a factory and we will literally just go in and purchase the research lab. So there we go. We've now got a little bit of extra... Yeah, we won't get a lot of growth if we do that. Although I don't think we're going to get a lot of growth anyway with the tiles that we're working. Doesn't have a massive amount of population. I guess we could take some out of the gold and just go for sort of pure food on some of these tiles. We would be losing a little bit of production here and there. The money situation isn't terrible, so I don't mind that too much. It's still going to be a long time before this city ever grows, so it is probably not worth trying to grow it at this point and just leaving it as it is. So... We won't do anything more there. Uh, Brega has finished the Apollo program. Let's go ahead here and get the stadium because we are starting to get happiness issues now. Uh, Military Academy would give us plus two happiness and it would only take um, four turns as opposed to six from the stadium. And it also only costs us one maintenance as opposed to the uh, two maintenance. So it makes a lot more sense to go ahead and get the Military Academy there right now. Uh, embargo Korea. Uh, let's do that. Not that I imagine that they're likely to win, but it certainly does help. Uh, you guys were building a, a railroad, I assume. I think you're probably connecting Thebes to Tikal. Obviously, there's a little bit of a gap because you haven't... You, there's a road there, apparently. So we'll carry on and just build the road straight across. That's fine. Uh, their borders have expanded a little bit there, which is just sort of uh, spat my unit out, so that's not too much of a problem. Uh, I will be declaring on them shortly. I would like to get as many units up there as possible. I do have a few things moving, and I've got another destroyer. Uh, one problem that we could face here is they may have submarines. That was something I spoke about on the last video. Because you can't see submarines unless they've just... Well, there's three instances when you can see a submarine. If the submarine's just fired, you can see it. Because obviously it has to come to the surface to fire. If you're on a tile directly adjacent to the submarine, you can see it. And you can see it with certain special units. And those certain special units are destroyers, missile cruisers, and other submarines. So, don't have any missile cruisers yet. Uh, we do have a new unit from Mbanza Congo, though, which is very, very nice. So, uh, Korea is now embargoed. Crab has also been banned as a luxury, which is a little bit of a pain there, because it means I lose some more happiness, but it's not the end of the world. A unit, we've got ourselves a, another rocket artillery. We're actually losing a massive amount of... Well, we're not losing money, but we're not making money. Maybe a few trade routes have expired, so we will have to be uh, very careful there. Uh, I think what I may do with this unit is just sell it straight the way, because I don't really need... Um, many more rocket artillery right now and it does mean that it gives me a little bit of money back uh, Lisbon has finished its stadium so yeah we did lose the crab but we gained a stadium at the same time so it sort of balanced itself out getting an airport would be very nice that would really help with our tourism it doesn't help with an awful lot else but we might as well try and get that completed if we can before we start on the Hubble Space Telescope. Because we haven't quite actually got that research done yet anyway. Uh, so let's continue to move all of these units forward. I have no idea what you guys were doing, so I'm going to assume that I was sending you for a trading post. Yeah, you guys don't have an awful lot to do there. Just go ahead and build a farm, I guess. And then we'll, we'll try and get this railroad across here if we can. You guys, again. Lack of food in this city. We might be able to grow it before the end of the uh, end of the game. I guess we'll have to see. Here we go, cargo ship. So, highest gold, where can we send you? Obviously, we don't want to send you to Arabia because we are going to be declaring war on them. So, the highest we could get is from Assyria, 25 gold, or we could go to Florence for 29. So, I believe that is what we will be doing. 
Is Florence one of the ones that we're still kind of friendly with? Yeah, we are friendly with Florence. Are you allied with somebody? You're allied with Arabia. That's going to be a problem, of course. Um, what about these other cities? Who are you allied with? You're not allied with anybody. So uh, we could flip Florence over before we start the war. That's not a problem. Uh, we have another cargo ship. You are going to go to um, Antana Nerevo. See, I actually said it right that time. Antana Nerevo. How far ahead are they? 80. Wow, I don't necessarily think we'll be able to flip them over, but we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, let's carry on moving these ships up there. They've actually started to get some units here. Wow, they've actually got an atomic bomb. So they're, they're, they're using nukes now, so we've got to be very, very careful here. They could be taking that over to Egypt, of course, which I'd prefer it if they didn't, because I don't want Egypt to end up getting destroyed. Uh, you're going to go to Florence as well. We might just have to throw a lot of money at Florence and just try and flip them over if we can. There's no great rush to go to war with Arabia. I mean, we I could even do it without going to war. So I do have to be careful. So Jung has now completed the Apollo program. This is what I'm worried about, is Korea starting to get a bit of a foothold towards a uh, scientific victory. Uh, guess what I may want to do as well? We'll have a look at some of these other city-states and see how far ahead we are with them. Don't particularly need to keep um, in good terms with people like Quebec City anymore. So what we could do is we could move you out of Quebec City and we could go and put you into Florence. You probably won't get an awful lot done in the time you're going to be in there, but every little bit helps. So we can adopt a policy. We can get some additional gold from sea trade routes. That is not a bad idea, actually. It's always nice to have a little bit of extra gold. Uh, let's see if we can get anything else. Uh, National Wonders, we could get a little bit of extra happiness. I don't think, think that's going to work all that well. We can't pick any level two or three tenants at this point. So that's a little bit pointless. Is it worth just picking up a social policy? We don't have any research agreements, but it would allow us to buy great scientists with faith. Although we only have 41 faith, so it's probably not really worth doing that either. So let's get the extra gold from sea trade routes. Puts us up from 107 to 135 per turn, so it's not too terrible there. You finally finished getting that coal connected up. Go and build a mine there, I suppose, just for something to do. Well, we just actually purchased something, I think. Yeah, we just purchased a pagoda, which is good because they all help. You are going to... Well, hopefully keep your eye on this because what I may want to do is declare war and just instantly obliterate that aircraft carrier before it has a chance to do anything with that nuke. I think that may be the plan. We're just going to try and box it in, spread our units out to keep an eye on it and see where it is going. Because obviously if we sink the aircraft carrier, he loses the nuke straight away. That's actually nice and easy to do. Let's go ahead and get a farm there. All I would like to do at this point is flip Florence. Because if I can flip Florence, then I can actually just declare war now without having to worry about that. But it is one of my best places for trade routes. So I'd prefer not to have to lose two trade routes. As soon as we've got a few of these stadiums and things built, because we do have a few of them queued up, that will help us with our happiness situation. We'll then be able to get some of these cities churning out additional science. We've actually got a great scientist already, which is really, really nice. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to make sure I've got something queued up after satellites, because I'm not entirely convinced that I have. So I've got satellites. After satellites, we're going to want to start getting some spaceship parts. Uh, where's the rocket boosters? I think they're like... Because you need three of those. Uh, advanced ballistics. So we'll go satellites into advanced ballistics. Because that means we've got to go through atomic theory and nuclear fission. And then into advanced ballistics. But we will do that. That won't be too much of a problem. So we're going to take that great scientist. We're going to pop him straight the way. That means we've now discovered satellites. And we've almost d discovered atomic theory. We are going to stop working on... Yeah, we can build the Hubble Space Telescope. 1,250 production is required. You will give us 1,110. So now we are down to three turns to build the Hubble Space Telescope. Puts us in a new era, which means we get ourselves a new spy. Where should we put you... I guess at this point, keeping an eye on Arabia isn't such a bad idea, although they do probably have a counter-spy in there. Let's have a look by population. Yeah, 40 in Mecca. And they are still the tech leader. Let us go for... 
Well, yeah, let's actually go in as a diplomat, because going in as a diplomat makes it easier for me to actually just spy on him and see what he's doing. There's no point trying to steal tech from him. That isn't going to work, so we'll just leave it as it is. Thebes is still in resistance for only one more turn, so we will be able to pop that out and build ourselves a courthouse. Korea doesn't like us, but no great surprise there. Really keeping everything crossed now that we do actually manage to get ourselves the Hubble Space Telescope because I would hate to lose that at this point in the game. So what it's mainly going to be now is just a race to research and build spaceship parts. There we go, Thebes is now out of resistance and it's building a circus. I'm going to let it go ahead and do that actually because it'll give us a little bit of extra happiness. Palenque has finished its factory. It might be worth going ahead and getting a stadium because we are still in negative happiness. So let's try and sort that out if we can. We've finished the military academy here. Let us go ahead and get the... Well, three turns for one happiness or six turns for two happiness... Doesn't really make a difference. Let's go ahead here and try and get the arsenal at Braga. This ship now has two atomic bombs. That worries me a great deal. Um, do I have enough money to flip Florence over at this point? 40 influence to surpass Arabia. How much could I give them right now? I could get 25. 25 is not enough, but that aircraft carrier hasn't gone anywhere yet. So, for the meantime, I think we'll just keep sitting and watching. We've got another cargo ship here. You can go to Manila. That will give you the most gold. I should have actually checked the other uh, civilizations there, actually. Uh, you can start building this road net uh, well railroad network. We'll try and get all of that connected up. Probably going to have a couple of turns here where we don't have a great deal to do. We'll get a mine there just in case we want to crank out some extra production. Almost finished the zoo in Elephantine, which is going to be nice. Still got quite a low population there in Elephantine. Maybe we should actually take some of our cities and not worry about growing them. Obviously, because we have this happiness problem, growth isn't really an issue right now. But we will let the AI have its turn. Manila is at war with somebody. Not 100% sure who that unit belongs to there. Not too bothered anyway. Okay, now this could be good because we've actually managed to discover uranium. And getting uranium connected is really, really good. Because the thing about uranium is it gives you an awful lot of production. So we've got one down here next to Palenque. And we also have another one right up the top. So as soon as we've got some workers that have finished what they're doing, I'm going to go and send them and get those connected quite nicely. Uh, we have now finished ourselves the submarine. So I'm going to give it Wolfpack and Wolfpack 2. And this submarine is going to start heading out towards wherever that ship was. Porto's now finished its production. So what do I do over here in Porto? I think getting a military academy wouldn't be a bad idea. Because it would mean we get some extra XP for units. And it also means we get a little bit of extra happiness as well. Um, you guys... What are you guys working on? You're building a farm. So you guys cross the river and that's going to be the railroad there. Okay. You guys have finished that farm. So you can go and work your way over towards getting that uh, that uranium there. Let's go on to the next turn. I didn't actually have a look and see. Yeah, whatever. I'm not, not bothered about anything you've got to say. Uh, yeah, it's still here. Well, it might not be the same carrier. He might have just moved his bombs from one carrier to another. But... That does worry me greatly, because if he does have one ca one carrier with bombs on, how many more does he have? Yeah, I can see two on that one as well. Is that... This, uh, this, does he have four bombs, or does he just move them around between two carriers? That's what I'd like to know at this point. Right, we've managed to get the Hubble Space Telescope. Fantastic. Now we get two free great scientists. Um, choose production. So... Coimbra's finished the stadium. That helps greatly. Let's go ahead and... We've still got happiness problems, though, which is not fantastic. So let us go ahead and get the Arsenal for now. 
We've finished the Hubble Space Telescope. Let us finish that airport here. And we... No, let us not finish the airport here. We're not even going to bother with the airport. We are going to queue up the rest of our technologies that we need to get next. So we'll be able to start working on advanced ballistics and the SS booster. After that, we probably want to go into nanotechnology and then particle physics. going to take a hell of a long time to get there. But two great scientists, so let's pop them both straight the way. There's nuclear fission. We're already into advanced ballistics. Let's pop that one. Three turns away from advanced ballistics. And what we're going to do here is we are going to start building the SS cockpit. That's going to take 15 turns. But we can go on to production focus. Doesn't really help. It's still only 15 turns. So we'll leave it on that. We'll leave it on that anyway then. Although we can't really grow, can we just throw any additional people into high production tiles? It doesn't have a lot of high production tiles actually, this city. Which is a little bit disappointing. I guess we could put a few people into things like the factories and the workshop. Gives us a little bit of extra production. It's taking, taking it down to 14 turns. So it helps a little bit. Let's keep moving up with this submarine. I know the video has gone over the 25 minute mark. But I'm actually uh, almost tempted to just uh, carry on for now and just... Try and get another turn in, so let's go ahead and do that and see what we can get. We do actually have enough gold now to try and bribe Florence to flip them over onto our side. That would mean that we could potentially then start another war or start a war with Arabia because we haven't actually done that yet. So that is very much a possibility. I do need to be really careful though and keep an eye on any nukes that he may have. I'm still very tempted at this point not to actually go to war with him because he's not really a threat to me right now. I don't even think he's really that much of a threat to Egypt. If we go and have a look at the uh, influence by player now, um, he's still rising with me, oddly. That's because we haven't gone to war. So is this my plus or minus uh, uh, output to targeted sieve? So... He gets a propaganda bonus because I've got a diplomat. That shouldn't be right. If I switch to Portugal and look at myself. That's very strange. I'm sure these figures are the wrong way around because I've got my diplomat in his city. Okay, but let's have a look at what he can possibly do. Arabia. So, he's familiar with Egypt. It's still going to be 103 turns. So, theoretically, it could still be done, but it'd be right at the end of the game. So, we do have to be quite uh, quite careful here. We do have to be very careful here. Uh, Gao has finished the military base, still in negative happiness, which is absolutely terrible. Uh, not an awful lot that we can do here to get rid of that, though. Oh, we can get a barracks, actually. Two turns for a barracks. That'll help with the happiness here. Let's go ahead and get... Well, military base and stadium takes the same number of turns. Let's go ahead and get the stadium. We do need to really start building spaceship parts, but... So I'm just trying to keep an eye on what he has. I'm guessing going to war with him wouldn't be the best idea, so we probably won't bother going to war with him. You finish that. You're working on that. That's fine. So let's get this worker up to... Let's get you up to there. It's going to take you a while, but it'd be nice if we can get that connected. You have... Uh, have you finished the railroad? Apparently you have, although there's one tile over here. This one, which is still a road, so you need to make that into a railroad. You're now building a public school. I think I'm just going to leave Thebes puppeted for now. It is out of resistance, which helps my tourism. Even though I can't actually tell it what to focus on. Although to being able to tell it to focus on science might help. But the fact is we do have some happiness issues at the moment. Can't really afford to buy a courthouse either right now. Especially as I'm considering spending a lot of money to flip Florence over. In case I do want to go to war with Arabia. Still not sure whether or not that is the right course of action though. Not sh even sure that it would help to slow Arabia down in any way shape or form. But surely the fact that I have a diplomat in his city means that I should be putting more pressure on him and not the other way round. That seems slightly strange. 
Okay, advanced ballistics is done. We also have a great musician, which is quite nice. We could try and culture bomb somebody at this point. It wouldn't necessarily be all that useful. Because we're not trying to get a cultural victory with somebody. So I guess we'll just go and create a great work and just try and get some additional tourism going. That puts us up to 121. Uh, we've finished the factory down here in Tikal. No point worrying about growth at this point. Three turns for a castle for some uh, gold, happiness and culture. Yes, please. Definitely get some of that. Try and get as close as we can to have a look around with this submarine because it makes it more likely that we'll be able to spot any that he has close by. You finish that farm. Um, that sheep isn't connected up, so let's start moving over towards that. Have a cargo ship. You can continue going on to Vilnius. And this is probably going to be the last turn. So you guys can start working on that. So we will we will lose the trading post there. We'll lose some gold. We'll lose one science. But we will gain a lot of production, which will be really nice. And that is all I can do for that turn. It's been about 30 minutes, so I think that's a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization V as Portugal on Emperor difficulty. And I'll see you next time. So until then... Goodbye for now.